Shalom, shalom, mishpacha. It's your girl Shanti Doc coming to you. Um, gonna do a video real quick on the resources I use to read, study, and research from for those who like to study scripture and want, you know, two or three witnesses to corroborate scripture, to solidify scripture. So I know I had a few people asking me, how do I study and what do I study? So I'm going to do a video real quick to show you. All right. So bear with me. It's going to take me a while, but hopefully not too long. <laughs> All right. So um, let's get into this first. Um, the main thing is I use I use the um, the scriptures from Institute for Scripture Research, ISR. It has all of the original names and um, places of names and um, everything everything original is restored in that in that book there um, <clears throat> I use the uh, the Brit Hachadasha. Um it's actually the um, it's commonly known as the New Testament I like to call it Brit Hachadasha, the renewed cover covenant is actually in Hebrew uh, let me show you real quick. The Brit HaKadoshah in Hebrew. All right. I'll read that too. Um, if you like to study that. This is the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha. It's actually the bridge of about 400 years between the Tanakh, which is the Torah, the Nevi'im, and the Ketuvim, or the instructions the prophets and the writings, all right? It's the 400 year gap between your Tanakh and your Brit HaHadashah. Um, actually in the book of Second Ezra, it stops at verse 70. However, in another um, book I have called the Researcher's Apocrypha or something like that, I don't have it here, I let a sister borrow it. Um, it actually has the book of the Apocrypha in it, but in Second Ezra in the other book, it goes to 140 verses instead of 70. <clears throat> and this is, you know, it includes the first and second book of Maccabees. And this has a lot of information, fills in a lot of gaps and holes, tells you where the Pharisees came from. Because I know, I know most of us want to know how all of a sudden the Pharisees, Sadducees come along and we didn't hear about them in the Tanakh. So the Apocrypha. Um, and I did mention, I did have another book of the Apocrypha. However, it also has the book of Yasher, Yubilees, and Enoch in it. Um, I know a lot of people don't believe in the book of Enoch or Yubilees. Um, I do believe in the book of Yasher. The book of Yasher is mentioned in the main canon or what you know as the Bible. It's mentioned in the book of Yehoshua uh, or translated Joshua. <clears throat> and it's also mentioned in the book of... Um, Second Samuel, I believe Second Samuel chapter one, if I'm not mistaken, and then in the book of Yehoshua, I believe it's in chapter ten. All right, those are good reads. The actual book of Yahshua goes into more depth and detail about what happened in Amrod. It goes more in depth and the detail what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, it goes into extravagant detail. <laughs> uh, I'll leave the book of you believe. You know, to those of you who like to read, I like to read them because I know how to separate the meat from the bones, right? All right. Um, that's that. That's the main things I use. Um, this right here is the KJV. That's what I started off reading in, you know, the KJV. <laughs> the, this one and uh, the one I got from my mom. I really started reading the KJV and then I, I, I start seeing a lot of things that were not lining up. So um, that's when I switched over to the scriptures after I started doing some research. All right. But I do use what you call the Tanakh. All right. So this is called a reader's Hebrew Bible from right to left. It says Torah, Navi'im, uh, or Ketuvim. All right, let me show you it. <clears throat> it's in Hebrew, as you can see. 
Yes, I do know how to read that. I'll read something later on for you guys if you want. Um, a lot of research material I'll be picking up from Barnes & Noble. Um, I bought this for 10 bucks. This is called the Roman Empire. Um, actually, if you go into the history section, royal history section or cultural history section of Barnes & Noble, you can find things of this nature. This one I got because it was bargain price of 10 bucks. Can't beat that. Um, it does cooperate scripture, okay? It really, really, really does cooperate scripture. All right? All right. So, we move along. Um, I got this from um, New Yerushalayim. Um, this is actually the concordance to the Brit HaChadashda in the Hebrew. I don't know how to get through it yet because it's all in Hebrew. All right, but there's another book um, I have upstairs. It's actually, I got from uh, Yerushalayim also. Um, it's actually it's called the Messiah. It, it has all the scriptures that prophesy Mashiach or the Messiah or the anointed one. An anointed one. Um, and it talks about Yeshua, um, Yeshua as Messiah. All right. These right here are called the... Uh, Chumash, all right, Chumash, Chamesh means five, so Chumash means five books, all right, um, this is in the interlinear, it's broken up in five books, so Bereshit, Shemot, Vayikra, Bamibor, and Davarim, right, so from right to left, it's actually, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, all right, um, this is what you guys see me studying from, I'll pull out, um, I'll pull out the book of Bamidbar, Bamidbar means in the desert, or in the wilderness, I'll pull this out. This is what you guys see me studying from a lot. Um, it has the it has the Torah portions in it, and it has the Haftorah. Let me get it situated. I got so many books in one hand to use. All right, so it has um, it's interlinear, interlinear. So it has the Hebrew and then the English, and then it has the commentary down below. All right, this is what you see me using. All right, you can get it from Art Scroll mainly. However, I believe you can also get it from Amazon for a little less than what Art Scroll sells it for. I usually um, I I read that a lot, a lot because um, <clears throat> as I read the Hebrew, I like to know exactly what the words mean, and I also like to read the commentary. Now, when you read the commentary, those are from the sages, so you have to be able to separate the meat from the bones when you're reading commentary or any any overviews from the sages all right they give you they give you great insight i can't you know i can't throw away everything i can't throw away the baby with the bath water so that's why i read the homage so um it also has the hop tours in it like i said um this right here <coughs> it's a version of the quran yes i do read the quran um i've read a, a bits and pieces through it but um you know bits and pieces through it how you read it, whatever, whatnot, but actually going through it from beginning to end, you know, I'm about right there. Um, so, yeah, I do read the Quran. I like to know. I, I, I'm not a Muslim, and I don't believe in, you know, this This is not my main, this is not my main guideline. And actually, this, this, this book does tell Muslims, or those who submit, it tells them to follow the Torah. If you don't believe me, Check it out for yourself. Actually, you can find these in Barnes & Noble. Not this one in particular, but you can find, of course, the Quran, Barnes & Noble. 25, 30 bucks. I believe something like that. I believe every reader should know or read through the Quran at least to know why you believe in what you believe in. I'm an Israelite. So, I believe in the Quran. I like to solidify. I like to show why I solidify my faith. And Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. Yaakov's name was changed to Yisrael. I like to solidify why I have that faith. So, in order for me to talk about something or not talk about something, you know, I need to know things. You know, that therefore that this lets you know that I don't just be talking, just to be talking. Before I speak, I know a little something. something. If I don't know nothing, I keep my mouth closed. Moving along, um, this is Josephus. Book of Josephus, Flavius Josephus has a lot of history in there of the um, of the Israelites. Um, <clears throat> these two study books right here, um, 
your word studies. This is your Hebrew word study. This is your, these are your, what you call your, your, your dictionaries. Your dictionaries elaborate on what the Hebrew mean and what the Greek mean. All right. Um, this one's called, uh, the Hebrew one is called the Complete Word Study Dictionary of the Old Testament by uh, Baker Carpenter. Um, is that right? Let me pull it out here. Yeah, Warren Baker, Eugene Carpenter. Um, and then this other one is called um, the Complete Word Study of the New Testament. And the author of this one is uh, Spiritus uh, Zodiates, some, somebody. <laughs> uh, this one right here, the Brown Driver and Briggs Hebrew and English Lexicon. That's a good one to get. And then, of course, I have the Strong's. I have the Strong's um, Expanded Exhaustive Concordance. So that actually has a concordance and a dictionary all in one. Those are the materials I use, all right? Oh, um, I also read Philo. Philo is a, um, a, a Jewish philosopher. Um, I like to read his stuff, too. Um, Christian mythology um, tells you about the pagan origins of Christianity. Um, I know people don't want to hear that sometimes, however... It'd be good to check out these books. Now, actually, I got this book from the New Age section in Barnes & Noble. And the New Age section, um, it pretty much has all of your historical information that backs up what paganism is um, in scripture or heathenism is. When you see the father saying he didn't want the children of Israel behaving like the nations or the heathen or the pagan. These books in the New Age section tell you what the heathens and pagans were doing. If you don't believe me, go check it out. Actually, I have a, a book that I purchased from the New Age section. Also, I don't have it here. I let a brother borrow it. It's called To Walk a Pagan Path. And actually, it goes into explicit detail of what a lot of these worldly holidays are really about. Okay, so when the father says, you know, don't do these things that the heathens and the pagans do. If you want to know what the father said, don't do Go pick up these books, books like these, Christian mythology and to walk a pagan path. And when you see books about Druidism, Celtics, Wiccans, that's what the father told you not to do. But I'm not going to tell you explicitly. It's gotta, if you want the research, you'll go do it yourself. Barnes & Noble, New Age section. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is the book I picked up to learn biblical Hebrew. Yep. This is the book I picked up. Um. I'm a lot through it. I'm a lot of the way through it. I'll just show you guys a little bit of it. You know what I mean? Let you let you see. I really be doing a lot of the, the work I say I do from it. Because you got to study. You know, if you really want to get something, got to study. And I study a whole heap of a lot. But, um, yeah. See, <clears throat> I'll be highlighting through the... I'll be highlighting through a bunch of these things, man. It's crazy. I'll let you know. I'll just, you know, just let you know how meticulous I'll be when I'll be going through studying stuff. So, learn biblical Hebrew. Uh, John H. Dobson, it comes with a CD. All right? This is pretty dope. Um, a lot of people want to know where I did I start learning Hebrew from. I didn't go to a teacher first, although I, I attend a congregation where we have Hebrew language class. However, I picked this up first and I just delved in and I put in the work and I asked the Father to lead me and guide me through His Holy Spirit so I can get this, so I can get a great understanding of what the words in the scripture actually mean. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Um, World Religions, I picked this up from um, <clears throat> Barnes and Noble. Complete Idiot's Guide to World Religions. It just gives you an overview of all the world's religions. You know what I mean? Like I said, I like to solidify why I'm an Israelite. <clears throat> oh, this is right here. It's called The Messiah. This is the book I thought I left upstairs. It's actually right here. I got so many books all over the place. But um, it's called The Messiah. It actually has all the scriptures that um, talk about the uh, prophetic scriptures of Messiah and solidifying Yeshua as Messiah. And that there is a Messiah and that the Messiah pretty much was coming at a certain time and had to come at a certain time to be solidified as Messiah. This is called um, Junia, the first woman apostle. If you read um, Romans chapter 16, verse 7, I believe, 
Um, some of your translations will say Junius. Some of them will say Junia. Um, this is a woman. And actually, this, this, this book does a lot of research in saying that, you know what? This woman was an apostle. <laughs> a lot of um, men in the way, or Hebrews, or even Christians, or Jewish people, they like to discredit this woman from being an apostle. This woman, you know, she, she, she was going around with her husband and Shaul, commonly known as Paul. She went around as an apostle. So this, this book shows definite research that women were apostles. And it's pretty much the only place in the Brich HaHadashah that shows a woman was an apostle. Um, I, I believe I got this from Amazon or somewhere offline. I think it was about between like 15 and 20 bucks, but it's a good study. All right. A lot of people say, you know, Shaul said women can't teach in the church or talk in the church. And, and Shaul went around with a whole lot of women spreading the good news of the Pesora, you know. And he did that with a lot of female companions. So therefore, that lets you know that Shaul wasn't saying that females could not speak. He was saying that they could speak. Matter of fact, he had a lot of women around him who spoke so junia the woman apostle all right so that's pretty much the rundown of the books and research and resource materials i use i'm still building and collecting piece by piece you know every other time i get paid i try to um pick up some 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 material i also use an app called scrib d s as in sam c as in cat R as in Rebecca, I as in Igloo, B as in boy, D as in dog, Scrib D. It's, um, it's an app to where you can look at it on your phone or online through the internet and you can have access to over 30,000 different books, documents, and audiobooks and you have a subscription that you pay for monthly and the monthly subscription is about nine bucks. And I have access to all these different books. I usually just go there when I need to pull out ex excerpts of information from books that I don't want to physically purchase. And I'll make some PDFs or whatever for my study purposes or whatever, whatnot. So that's that. If you guys have any questions, let me know. My name is Ashanti. <laughs> Ashanti. I am Shanti Doc on Facebook. I'm going to put this up on the YouTube so my people can see. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything, hit me up. 916-747-8886. All right. So I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this video. Just hope you guys have a good and blessed day. Continue to stand firm in the faith. And my motto is study to show thyself approved unto Yah. Shalom, shalom, mishpacha, y'all have a good day.